Ah, actually, there's, there's one surprise I wasn't expecting here. Greetings gamers and welcome to The Handy Gamer. I'm Raz, The Handy Gamer. And today I got something really neat to show you. This is the Xbox Series X Halo Infinite Edition. This just got released to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Halo and Xbox, as well as to celebrate the upcoming release of Halo Infinite. Unfortunately, like with many other popular items that people want to get over the past year or two years, it has unfortunately been scalped. So I want to take this moment to thank Xbox Sweden. I know that sounds weird, I'll, I'll explain. Uh, specifically the people who are responsible for the Instagram account of Xbox Sweden uh, because when this got announced I posted on the, their announcement image on Instagram and I asked them hey uh, where do I get this it's hard to find it's been selling out like crazy and I didn't get an answer at least not in the beginning and then much much later they did reply to me so I wouldn't have this if they hadn't alerted me to that so thank you Xbox Sweden's Instagram manager whoever you are before we get to that though, I gotta say thanks for checking out this video. This is a small channel and I'm trying to make things happen, so I appreciate every view and every like and every comment. If it ends up that you do like this video or you have something to say on this topic or you have questions about this console, please leave a comment down below. It makes me happy and I'll make sure to engage if I can. And leave a like if you like the video. If you want to stay in touch or if you want to be up to date with the latest videos, consider subscribing to the channel and maybe even ring that bell to get notified when a new video gets released. All right, let's get going. So a bit of backstory. Um, one year before the release of this was the release of the initial Xbox Series X and S back in November of 2020. And I was lucky enough to pre-order far enough in advance to actually get it on release date, which coincided with my birthday. So I got an Xbox Series X on my birthday. It was admittedly a present from myself to myself, but that kept. And now one year later, same thing happened again, but with this edition. And no, I'm not going to be keeping two Xboxes, I will be selling my old one, but I'm happy I'll be keeping this one, because having seen pictures of it, it looks really nice. And I should point out that that's the thing about this, it's about what it looks like. Functionally, it's the exact same thing, it has the same internals as a regular Xbox Series X. There is a small difference in one small feature that I'll get to later, but other than that, it's... Yeah, just a cosmetic appearance thing uh, on the outside of the console. Inside is exactly the same. So this should be as easy as just lifting it off. Oh, here we go. There it is. Now this little logo here is what the celebration is all about. This does seem to be the correct orientation. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Uh, already we got this outer protective layer for the console and it's also been treated to a nice little design. <laughs> I forgot how heavy it was. <laughs> Surprisingly, not as heavy as the PlayStation 5, or at least the PlayStation 5 is more cumbersome to hold because of its shape and its perceived frailty because you're afraid you're gonna chip off those little bat wings that it has. With this at least it's one piece and you're not afraid to break something off. There we go. Well, I got it out of the box at least. Now there are more goodies in here. Now inside of this you get the regular usual suspects. Uh, power cable, let's see, uh, HDMI cable. Now this cable should be compatible with the whole 120 FPS uh, feature, but that is reliant on your TV. If your TV does not support 120 FPS then it won't make a difference, but if it does this cable would do the trick. So be mindful that you need a specific cable in order to be using the 150 hertz or 150 FPS feature. And then finally, the other main star of the show, aside from the console itself, is the controller, which I'll be taking out here in a sec. Here is the controller. That's a nice view. And this is an important part, I suppose. On the back of it, you have the 20th anniversary logo there as well. I just noticed, and I don't know if this is true, I, my eyes may just be tricking me, but I think the Xbox button, the home button up here, has a different color to it, like a slightly different tint, like uh, maybe it's trying to match 
the golden lines around it. Maybe it's just my eyes fooling me, but it kind of... Mm. Is it true? Hey Xbox, if you see this video, can you confirm, is the actual button's uh, color changed slightly to match the lines, the golden lines? Now I'm gonna move this out of the way so I can start unpacking the actual console itself. Okay, here we are. This is the Xbox. Uh, I haven't unwrapped it because aside from having uh, like this paper or plastic thing around the console itself, it also has a sleeve. Okay, let's see, how do we open this safely? Oh, you know what? That was very easy. Oh, here we go. Nice. Oh, actually, there's, there's one surprise I wasn't expecting here. So I've sort of seen that the, the holes on the top of the console, or side, depending on how you place your console, on the original they were just green, and that's it. Uh, here they're blue to match the theme of the console. And also they have these little stars on the top. That's what I wasn't expecting because not only is it here, it's actually on the bottom as well. So anyone who has their, their Xbox Series X standing up, you'd never see this. But it's here anyway, for, I guess for those people who have it laying down. And here it is. This is the Xbox Series X Halo Infinite Edition console. And finally, just to take a look at the back, and to show you that functionally it should be the same, since all the ports should be the same, uh, this is the back. It has the 20th Celebration logo on the back. That's real neat. And uh, yeah, one HDMI out, two USB, to, uh, I assume 3.0s, uh, power, uh, Ethernet port, and the storage expansion port. Now that's it for the console itself, or at least its uh, outer theming and its design. But uh, like I mentioned, I think there is one very small feature to this that's ma that makes it a little bit different from a regular Xbox Series X. I have to reiterate, power-wise and performance-wise, it is exactly the same as a regular Xbox Series X, but uh, this feature that I'm about to show you is more of a thematic thing, I suppose. There. Now I've switched this monitor to HDMI and I've plugged in this Xbox, I think. Uh, so we're gonna find out what this neat little feature that I was talking about is. When you turn on the console, you should hear something a little bit different. So let's take a look. Now just to make sure, does it make any special sound when you turn it off? I can't tell if it was the same sound or not. <laughs> it was different, that's for sure. And that's it. That is the Xbox Series X Halo Infinite Edition. Unpacked and presented, and I showed you what the unique little feature was. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, thank you. <laughs> it means a lot to me. Uh, but consider leaving a like and a comment down below to let me know what you enjoyed about the video. Or if you have any questions about this, I'll be happy to answer it if I can. If you want to stay in touch with the channel and see when we release new videos, consider subscribing and ringing that bell to get notified when a new video gets uploaded. Aside from this channel, I'm also very active on Instagram. I post a lot about retro video games, for example, and also modern video games. So yeah, go there, check me out if you want to see what I have to show. Uh, but again, thanks for watching this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!